Alright guys, welcome back to another part of our basic survival game tutorial series and in this episode we will continue with our inventory system, so let's jump right into it. And I'd like to start with our actual inventory itself, so just head over into our content folder and in here let's create another folder with right click and new folder and let's call this one blueprints. Okay, inside of this folder, let's right click, choose user interface and select widget blueprint. And let's call this one WI for widget interface and inventory. All right, and double click to open it up. Like I've said before, our finished inventory system will look similar to the Skyrim inventory system. So let's start with the categories bar and uh, to do this just left click into our palette and search for box and in here choose our vertical box drag it in here make sure to enable is variable and let's rename it to category box okay compile save and head over into our event graph and get our event construct and let's start scripting so with control and left click uh, I'll drag our category box into here, drag a wire out and I'll say add child to vertical box. Alright, but, but because we want every category to be present in this list we need to loop through all our existing categories. So just right click in here and say category and select for each E underscore category. Alright, connect this and connect our loop body to our execute pin. So this means that we loop through all our categories after we've opened our inventory for the first time. Okay, so for each category we want to add a new child to this vertical box. But if we want our inventory to be working, we need to tap out we need to minimize our inventory itself and do the same thing. Right click, user interface, widget blueprint and in here call it wi underscore category button. Alright, open it up, compile, select button, alright, and default position should be uh, zero, 0, and I think the size is okay. We will change it later on anyway. So make sure that this is a uh, variable two and rename it to category button. Compile, save and select a new text. Get a new text and drag it on top our category button. All right. Now select our created text component and change the default text to category. Compile, save, and head over, head over to our button and select size to content. This changes the button size to fit our text length. Make sure to select is variable here too, and let's call this one category title. Okay, let's compile, save, and head over into our event graph. Here on event construct we need to define our category title. To do this just create a new variable. Let's call this new category title. Change this to a um, change this to a string. Compile again, save again and select instance editable and expose on spawn. Now let's get our category title and say set text get our new category title and drag it into our event graph and let's connect this now you can see that our string is automatically changed to a text variable and this is perfectly fine so yeah don't worry about that connect our event struct to our set text and let's align it here 
compile or save. Now click on category button on, and now let's add the on clicked event and we will continue with this one later on. But for now just head over into our WI inventory and the child we want to add is a new instance of our WI category button. So let's create it. For that uh, just right click and type in create widget and connect this and our output should be our new content. And the new class we want to select is of course our WI category button. So just left click it and select our WI category button. Alright, compile, save and you can see that we now have this new category title input in here and this is basically just this variable in here because we enabled expose on spawn we can see it here in the constructor and the text on top of this button should of course be our enumeration value so just drag it out and convert to string alright compile save and that should be it more or less of course it will look pretty crappy for now but we can test it out to do this just s make sure that you have saved everything, minimize that one, open up our player, in here add the inventory component, alright, compile and save, and now we want to edit this inventory component, so just right click and click edit inventory component. Now make sure to create a new variable, and this variable will be called inventory or just inf widget and this will be of course our wi underscore inventory and we want an object reference of course compile and save okay now we can add a new function and let's call it open inventory compile and save and let's add a new input for that function it's a boolean and we want to call it open. Alright, so if open is true we want to open our inventory and if open is false we want to close it again. Perfect, now let's start with opening up our inventory first. And we need another branch to do this because we need to check if our inventory widget is existing or not. So just drag it out, get it and ask if it is if it is valid or not. Alright. So if our inventory is existing, we simply want to open it up. So get our inventory widget, add to viewport. And if it is not existing yet, we need to create it. So just say create widget. We want to select our inventory widget and we want to set it here and now we want to open it up too and now if open is false and we want to close our inventory just get it and say remove from parent and after that we can simply get our reference and set it to null alright now let's save our assets switch over to our third person character and let's say when we press well do we have the E key used for something I don't think so so let's say when we press E we want to use a flip-flop this is simply a macro which behaves different each time we call it so when we call flip-flop uh, the first time we will get our A output, when we call it the second time we will get our B output and the third time we will get A again and so on and so on. And I use this to open and close our inventory. So get our inventory component and let's say open inventory and let's open it. And well you could of course uh, connect this and deselect open but because it looks kind of messy I will delete it uh, select this and and use is a as an input this will have the same result as the message shown uh, before so minimize it play and let's press E 
and you can see armor, weapon, food and miscellaneous. And these are our categories we have created. So if we would create a new one, let's say, um, let's head over into our inventory system and in here in categories, let's create For example, ingredients. Let's save it. And now when we play and press E again, we have ingredients in here. But we can't select anything. So let's close it again. And let's close this. And well, uh, we can actually leave this one open because we need it. Um, all right. All right. And here we want to get our uh, play controller not a play pawn I'm sorry get a play controller all right and let's set our input mode to game and UI where do we have it input mode game and UI um, connect everything no we don't want to hide it we don't want to lock it this is fine and our widget in focus will be our inf widget all right and now we need to do the opposite thing for when we for when we want to close our inventory so let's get it and set our input mode to game only all right to make sure that everything uh, works for now let's get a play controller again and let's call a function which makes our cursor visible or invisible and to do this and to do this just type in show mouse cursor and we want to set this boolean and we want to show our mouse cursor and when we close our inventory we want to hide it again so uncheck it and yeah connect this compile save minimize it play this game press e we have a mouse cursor we can hover over our buttons here and with pressing e again it is closed again and our mouse cursor is gone Alright, in the next part we will do something when we're clicking on, for example, armor or weapon or food or something else. Well, stay hyped for that and see you later.